I had the absolute pleasure of subbing beginner's yoga over the weekend. The feedback I heard from students was they do not feel confident with alignment, that they go to classes and they feel like there's not enough alignment cues given. So I listened and I heard them and I put together this short five minute video for proper alignment for warriors one, two, and three. Enjoy. Hey friends, I'm gonna teach you alignment today. Something a little different, but it's really important. Alignment matters because it keeps your body safe. When you are not in proper alignment, you're more likely to have an injury. Plus, when you're in proper alignment of a yoga posture, you're able to experience something different. You're able to feel something new and it takes you to a whole new level. So today I'm gonna to go over alignment for warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three. In Sanskrit, that's Virabhadrasana. So Virabhadrasana one, two, and three. For warrior one, I'm gonna begin off my mat today facing you. So in warrior one, we're gonna ground, we're gonna set our roots, our foundation. I'm a visual learner, so I like to really visualize roots coming through my feet into the earth, setting my foundation. You can even rock back and forth, feeling all four corners of your feet. We're gonna ground through the right foot, and then step your left foot back. So our, line, our feet are in line, so imagine you're on a balance beam here with a soft bend in your front knee. If your back heel is not grounded, you may wanna shorten your warrior one, or you can walk your foot out. Your choice, lots of options. Now, one of the things I see in warrior one, misalignment, is that students will be opening up here in warrior one. In warrior one, imagine that you have headlights right here on your hip bones. You want your headlights shining forward. You can even put your hands on your hips and really make that adjustment yourself. Stack those shoulders over your hips and have your headlights shining forward. Soft bend in that front knee, and then inhale, sweep your arms up. The second thing I see a lot are shoulders up to ears. So draw your shoulders down your back. And then with our fingers, our hands are internally rotated, meaning pinkies are coming towards one another. They're also active. So if I were to come up and try to move your arms apart, they're strong. And even though your legs are apart, let them fired up. Really activate the muscles, squeeze the glutes. And then I want you to notice what your big toe is doing on your front foot. Is it gripping the mat? Maybe try to lift the toe and smile. That always helps. And then bring that left foot in to meet the right. For purpose of demo today, I'm just going to do it on one side. So make sure you balance out and you do warrior one on the other side. Now we're going to move on to warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. So in warrior two, we're going to lead with our front, our right foot. So our right toes are shining forward. Our right knee is stacked over our right heel. If your knee is over your toes, you've got to move it back. Make sure when you look down, you can see your toes. Your back leg, your back foot, is either parallel to your mat or slightly internally rotated, meaning your big toe would be coming towards you. Your back leg is strong and straight. Your shoulders are stacked over your hips. And then we bring our arms out. Another alignment um, I see here, or misalignment, is arms will be like this. They should be in one straight line from fingertip to fingertip. I also see shoulders coming up. So draw those shoulders down your back and gaze over your, right, your front middle finger. Now you can fine tune your posture. Draw your belly button in towards your spine and maybe sink a little deeper. And again, even though your legs are apart, squeeze those legs together and breathe. And then bring it up. That is warrior two. Our last posture I'm going to go over today is warrior three. Vera 
Asana 3. This is also a balancing posture. So let's set our foundation. Let's ground through our feet. Again, maybe rocking back and forth. We're going to begin with our right foot grounded. Soft bend in that right knee. And then begin to hinge forward. Lifting the left leg. Reaching the arms out. That left hip bone has a headlight on it. It's shining towards the earth. Micro bend in that right knee. Left toe shining towards the earth. And you're in one straight line. From fingertip to heel. And breathe. Squeeze those glutes. Create space from fingertip to heel. And then take it up. And again, I'm only demoing on one side, so make sure to balance out. Well, I hope you learned something new today. And if there's any other postures that you would like me to break down for you, please comment on this video. Much love and gratitude. Namaste. Hey friends, if there are any other yoga postures you would like me to break down and cue for you, I would be happy to. Just comment on this video or send me a message. Much love and gratitude. Namaste.